What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video by me, Tina. LGK House Dance is 1998. So we're at Velvet. August. Finally. I remember whenever we all got the notice that they were coming back in August, we were like, oh my god, August is taking forever. And now it's here, so yay. So um, I see that they came out with like a little collection of short videos, uh, Queen Queen's Archive. So um, from my understanding from what y'all rebel loves have told me, I'm so thankful for y'all rebel loves for keeping this baby rebel love updated. At first I thought these were like new songs, but y'all told me that these are like older uh, B-sides of theirs that each girl specifically chose. So that's interesting. This is gonna be a very nice way for me to like hear a little sampler before checking these songs out in full since I don't know these songs yet. So um, yeah, I'm gonna watch it in the order that they got released. So the first one I'll be checking out is called Something Kinda Crazy. And it looks like uh, this one has all the girls because this is Red Velvet versus like a single one. Because the other one I saw like hashtag Irene, hashtag Wendy. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and see uh, what Something Kinda Crazy sounds like. So. Here we go. Quick pause. If y'all been enjoying the things that I've been doing here on my YouTube, please hit the thumbs up button. That gives me a good idea on what y'all like and what y'all kind of like. Feel free to also subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay super updated with some new things. Hi, right, let's get it. I like this old school film strip kind of thing. <gasps> Suki with the orange hair, so iconic. Wow. This whispering. I like that color wheel. Retro funk, this is what I'm getting. Cat tail. Wow, this is so dreamy. To go with the dreamy sounds of the song. Oh dang, VHS. Okay, they look beautiful. Okay, that cat is going in and out of everything. Oh, this is so early 90s. Queens. Queens. Okay, high note. We, we gotta have the classic red velvet high note and everything. So, um, yeah, that was a nice, very, uh, I just recently reacted to, uh, Odd Eye, or Odd Eye Circle's, uh, Luna's little subunit, their song called Lu Lunatic. I always want to say lunatic for some weird reason. And, um, that song, I was explaining how it gave me a very, like, nostalgic feel, made me feel sad and happy at the same time without, like, any kind of explanation why. And, uh, comments said that this kind of song to them is, like, dream pop. I need to go back and thank you for that word because dream pop is the perfect way to describe these types of songs. So that song definitely came off very dream pop to me. So um, yeah, all right. So the next one is Red Velvet, I Just, hashtag Wendy. So I'm going to assume that this is Wendy's song she chose and it's going to be all Wendy. So um, yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. This cat is carrying through to all the videos. It's like a little tie-in. Okay, interesting all these cards came out. I'm thinking of like, you know, the queen of... <gasps> oh, see that little side thing that she did with her face? Okay, this is ultra funky. Look at her. The queen of hearts. This side thing that she's doing, she is making me crush on her like crazy. What are you doing to me, Wendy? Five seconds. I want to see that again. Oh gosh. Ooh. Gosh, this attitude. I love it. Okay, and this cat. Okay, yeah, so this is very interesting. Obviously, the cat is carrying through throughout the song. He, uh, the cat's like the, the glue. And gosh, I really love the rock kind of look that she's carrying throughout the song and even the attitude to go with it. And uh, remember how the something kind of crazy, I said that one's like dream pop. This one's like a 
it, it has definitely still has the pop kind of feel, but it's like more of a soft rock kind of pop, soft retro-ish. And even still, the whole uh, very dreamy-like voice is carrying throughout the song. Man, these just, the little previews just make me very uh, interested and excited to hear the full song. I definitely need to remember adding all these songs on my Spotify after this. Alright, so the next one that we're going to check out that got released is Yeti. Hashtag Yeti. Talk to me. Oh, her curls look too cute. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and check out Talk to me. So, here we go. Gosh. Yeti always has like a very classic doll-like concept. Okay, the cat went to the mirror. Oh, okay, I like that concept, talk to me. And then there's like these bubbles and the emoji looking hearts. For some weird reason, the first time I saw those bubbles are the text. It made me think of AIM, AOL Instant Messenger back in the day. Those were the freaking days where you're able to customize your shit. All right, this is, uh, I like this. L let's go. She's so fresh. Turning to a mukbang. Cute. Okay. I'm sure. Do y'all react the same way when y'all use those whiskers? Is that what it's called? Whiskers? Kind of funny because there's a cat going around whiskers. Um, the whisk thingy. Yeah. I hate using that thing. I prefer to like manually do it because that just freaks me out. Like Yeti. <laughs> Holy crap! She got her face! <gasps> okay, this is cuteness overload. Oh wow, that turned out very pretty! Whoa. She's so cute! Oh! Did the cat mess the cake up? Okay, that song... I, okay, I don't know if this is going to be happening throughout all the songs, but like every one that I'm checking out so far, it's like going up in the decade. Like this one makes me think of like early 2000s kind of music. Just very poppy, cute. Even though it makes me think of AIM, well, AIM was, I mean, for my age, it was like the 2000s era. I find it interesting that the cat just going in and out through each video and just kind of like, they're trying to live their lives and there's certain videos and you're like, oh, oh cat. So, um, okay, hmm. I'm gonna probably ask y'all Rebel Loves more about this cat, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next video, which brings us to Perfect 10, Irene. I like that Irene chose the song Perfect 10, considering the fact that Irene is my favorite of Rebel Love. I'll, Irene or Wendy, I'm not too sure, but then again, my love for the girls are each starting to come up for each of them. So, um, but yeah, Irene, she really is. I never use the word perfect because I don't believe in the word perfect, but if I did, Irene would have that label slapped all over her because she's just, she's so outstandingly, like, breathtakingly beautiful. There's just, she just looks like a freaking model. So, um, yeah, uh, Perfect 10. Let's see what Perfect 10 is all about. So, here we go. Okay, those VHS tapes are back. Okay. Whoa. This makes me think of their song, uh, Automatic, kind of. in uh, one of my red, red velvet videos where something about Irene's collarbones is just very pretty. It's just a, it's a trademark about her that I noticed and it's just, it's beautiful. All right, um, this, seeing all these visuals and then hearing like this very uh, sec sensual, sexy-ish kind of song. I don't know what the lyrics are about. Uh, they always throw me off with the lyrics, but it definitely has like the kind of sensual feel. 
it's dangerous to put together. All the red. It's like Snow White. Okay, so this looks like a freaking museum display. The cat is in there. Oh, wait, is she the cat? Oh, Irene, you are so, uh, you, you take my breath away. This was a very sensual song. I love my sensual side of K-pop, so this will definitely be on my sexy K-pop playlist. All right, yeah, I, I really just want to hear the song again, but I know I got several others to check out. So um, yeah, let's move to the next video, which would be Joy, Joy, uh, Bad Dracula, Bad Dracula. Interesting, because I remember Really Bad Boy having the whole horror movie, that wolf person going around scaring them, they were like singing, screaming. All right, let, let's see what this is all about. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! That that, that that was a really quick transition and it's kind of funny because I'm hearing him say ha 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 yeah 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 it's like they're laughing at my reaction being scared. Hilarious. Okay, this sounds like it's overload caffeine. <gasps> oh funky dancy. She looks like a fairy in the forest. Ooh, sassy. Whoa, she shimmered. Whoa. Ooh, the voice traveling. Okay, caffeine overload. Uh, happiness and sass. Okay, two joys. That's wonderful. Ah, she's joining in. Cute. Okay, this cat. The cat's going to the frame. Huh. Also, it's not a frame. Okay, so there's that. And then. Oh, okay. I'm getting the hints now. Like how Irene was in the bathtub and you see the cat tail. And I was like, oh wait, is she the cat? And then you see her in the frame. And then I remember seeing the cat going to the frame. That's made me question, wait, are they trying to say that they're the cat? And then first you see her and it flips up. And it's like, oh, okay. Them with their freaking concepts. Okay, yeah, this song was definitely like happy and sassy on caffeine. I really liked it. It's just very jumpy. It's like one of their jumpier songs. I love how I'm getting different genres each from these little previews too. Man, Red Velvet really knows how to sell a baby rebel love. Their other music that I need to check out. All right, okay, so I'm getting a concept of them being cats. So, um, all right, so last but not least of the individuals, Sugi, which uh, song, to, so good, so good, Sugi, so good, Sugi. That's like kind of hard on my tongue, but all right, here we go. <gasps> oh, the cat have different eyes, color. She's giving me face. Oh my gosh. Interesting. Yes! See? There we go. Her freaking shadow is a cat. I think. I see a cat tail. Yes, Sugi with her freaking avant-garde type hands. Oh, she's so classy. She is just living her life on this tennis court. See? 
She's a cat. Yes. I, I, I understood it, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, this song is definitely sensual. It reminds me of, like, Perfect Ten, but it's, like, a little bit more upbeat than Perfect Ten. It's more like, I want to groove, do ugly body roads in the house kind of groove. It's uh, been fun watching this in the order that I am and seeing all the little cats. It took me up until, like, freaking Irene's video for me to be like, wait, there's something with the cat. All right, um, I believe there's one last one where it's, like, a group one. Uh, general store closed. This one's shorter than the other one. So yeah, this might just be a closing thing, obviously. So um, yeah, let's see where to go with this. All right, they all join it together. Oh, I already love the instrumental. This is very whimsical-ish. They have another... <laughs> Big cat. I love you. Till kingdom come. But did, did the cat just talk to me? I love you. Till kingdom come. It just means just no. Oh, okay. The yellow and blue eye. Okay, this was fun. This was really fun. That's very interesting because I said that they were the cats and now there's a huge cat. All right, yeah. I'm gonna need y'all's uh, rebel loves uh, theories and you know a little bit of trivia for me because I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if I was completely off. But what was not off was everything that they just sold to me now. Like, I'm after I film this, I'm gonna add all the songs to the playlist, play it while I have like a freaking ton of dishes to do. The, I feel like doing dishes or cleaning the house is like the perfect way to really get a song to absorb through. Yeah, all these songs had their different genres, had their different feels, and I um, actually kind of find it interesting that each of the girl, the ladies, chose those specific songs to do. I think that probably tells me a little bit about their personality. So, um, yeah. All right, yeah, just hearing these B-sides, even though they're probably older, yeah, it's just something to give me to enjoy and discover before, enjoy, joy, uh, to enjoy and discover before their official combat comes, so, yeah. All right, guys, well, thank y'all so much for checking out this video here with me on my YouTube. I hope y'all have a great day, and until the next one coming up, 